Okay, so hi everyone, my name is Afna and today we're going to learn about how to make a rectangle and a half pyramid using that nested loop, using nested loops. So first of all, we're going to use stars, okay? So first of all, we're going to learn how we make a rectangle. So what will you do for that? So like I have my number of rows. So here's the thing, let me show you. So inner outer loop is rows, inner loop is column. So, and I told you that a long time before, like in our last video. So, so our number of rows and then that's an integer, right? And then enter the number of rows, okay, and then two, yeah, as you know, two brackets, simple input, or oh, control A, control C, control V, this time column, so C-O-L, short form, for that, short form is C-O-L, call it, column. Okay, as we know, rows go rows goes horizontal and columns goes vertical. And now what we do is for i in range, and then we put and then we put here rows rows. Okay, for i in range call column so column now what we do is print okay and then so oh, oh yeah so here we don't use i we use your j, j. So J, okay, so now J, right? Now what we want to do is we want to make a rectangle. So we just use your or star, so shift it to do star and we want to write horizontally equals to end equals to that, space it. So it makes it look better. Now what we do is we go out of that and right here, Print, okay, print, oh, so print, slash n, so slash n, okay, and then let's say five rows, five columns, and yeah, as you can see, our, our rectangle is made. See, it's our rectangle is made. But let's say I want to like put here, okay? So I have, a, let's say a, a hashtag here, a dollar sign here, hashtag here, dollar sign here, and then hashtag here. So how do we do that? So that's a, so that program is, so we can, we leave rows and columns there. Okay, so how do we do that? So for i in range, let's do it again so you guys will remember rows. And then we can copy that. Oh, control Z, Z. Yeah, so let's copy that. Okay, for I in range. Now for I in range, there's a column. Oh, for J. And then what we do. So here, now here, what we do. So like I said here, do we use hashtag star? I mean, yeah. So yeah, let's say star hashtag a star and hashtag 
So let's count that. Zero, one, two, three, four. So here, the star, star, zero. So they're, they're odd, right? They're odd numbers. So what we do is if, okay, we use brackets, I, per, percent, percentage, percentage two equals to zero, print, print okay what we print is so you, let's say we want to put hashtag so what is it hashtag or is this? hashtag and then horizontal line you know that and then else Print so else print star and equals to quotation marks space it and now let's r run it and then we enter yeah. our number of rows five column is five. Oh, yes. So that's not it yet. Now we go out of our nested loop and print. Okay. What we do is print and then we use quotation marks slash n to make it a new line. So five, five. So yeah, this is, so yeah, look here, five rows, right? That's correct. And five columns. And look, this is, that's, that's what I wanted. That's what I was asking for. This is, that's the output I wanted. So yeah, we're, we're correct. So what does this mean, first of all? So yeah, let's forget about input. Let's see, okay, use that. Five rows, five columns. So I have five rows, right? So that I, so I would be rows, J would be column. So for I, right, the values of I is zero, one, two, three, and four, right? So it's going to go for the first value of, so, and then J, right? So here's the thing. So our first value of i is zero, right? And then, so zero, so first val a value of i is zero, and now zero divide two is zero, but zero divide two, if the remainder zero, the remainder zero, right? Then it's going to print hashtag on horizontal line, uh, on horizon or horizontal line, so the rows. But why is it printing five hashtags? Because, look, here, our first value of i is zero. And what, what's the values of j? We put here five, right? So same thing, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five. But it's putting their five, zero, one, two, three, four. But it's putting their five because first value of i, which is zero, equals to the number, value, all the values of j. So zero, one, two, three, four, right? That's why it's printing five hashtags. Then this is slash n means like it's going new, means new. So new line, new, it's it's new line. Slash t means tab. But slash n, as we know now, it's new line. Then it goes on new line. Then goes back to the value of i, that our next one is one. So one divide two. If that if the remainder is zero, then it will print hashtag, but it's not. So it's going to print star horizontally, right? So it'll, then it's going to go on new line. And the same thing, it's going to print five. So zero, so I value zero, going to print all values of J. I value one, it's going to print all values of J again. So it's going to go same thing, same thing over again. 
So how much values you have? Values of y, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, the value, the first value I said is 0. 0 will make, will be all the values of j. Okay. Okay, so same thing for each other number 2. Same thing for 4. Same thing for 3. Same thing for 2. Same thing for 1. And now, it's going to print star. Go back to new line. It's going to print hashtag again. Next value is, uh, I mean, of i is 2. So i equals to 2. 2 divide 2, remainder 0. And 2 divide 2 is 1, remainder 0. It's going to print hashtag. Print hashtag here. Go back on new line. So it does the same thing over, over again. Let's say I have here 10 rows, 10 columns. It's going to do this method. So like, I know this, I know trying to understand why it's doing that. It's really hard, but when you practice it, it just takes some practice. You will get it soon if you take some practice. If you do it, you get it, okay? So it just keeps on going so on, so on, so on. We know how to make that rectangle here. The rectangle's not here. Yes, this rectangle over here. And we know how to make this, right? Now, what if I said I want to make the half pyramid so half pyramid we will uh, do later um tomorrow so thank everyone for listening about how do you make about the rectangle right and do like uh, different types of symbols okay yeah let's say i want to put here avner i want to add avner there or I can add write symbol there. Yeah, you can, you know how I change that string on in the if condition? You can change hashtag to like anything else. You can change star to anything else. It's just like you can do anything. So thank you everyone. I hope you.